Hello and welcome everybody, Nicholas from Bicycle here and in today's video we are going to be having a look at one of the most popular gravel bikes, the Cannondale Topstone Carbon, more specifically the Carbon 5. Let's get straight to it. So starting off with the frame set itself, Cannondale uses their Ballastec carbon material. This carbon layup is going to provide a perfect mixture of stiffness, strength and compliance. Like on all carbon frames, the top stone comes with the kingpin suspension, which essentially locks in the seat stays to the seat tube. Together with the compliancy of the carbon frame, it provides up to 30 millimeters of travel in the rear, which will provide even more comfort, control and traction on rough terrain, but also won't affect your power transmission when climbing or going flat out on straights. The top stone is loaded with mounting options, which can be found on the top tube, C-tube, down tube, on the forks and on the seat stays. This makes the Topstone a reliable backpacking partner as well as the perfect winter commuter with the fender compatibility. The Topstone does feature internal cable routing which provides a cleaner look. However, it would have been nice to see understem cable routing found on bikes such as the Rose Back Road. On the other hand, a nice little feature is the sleek integrated seat post clamp. Speaking of the seat, if you want to really push the off-road capabilities of the Cannondale Topstone, you do have the option to install a dropper seat post. Having a quick look at the geometry, with a stack of 579 and reach of 385, the bike has a typical endurance geometry. It is going to put you in a more upright position, providing more comfort on those longer rides and also more control on the more technical trails. However, not too upright, still providing that fast riding experience. Turning to the components, this will vary in terms of price range. The Cannondale Topstone 5 features a mix of Shimano GRX, Shimano 105 and Cannondale components. The rear and front derailleur are GRX 812 and 800 respectively, which will provide Ultegra-like shifting, while the hydraulic brake levers and shifters are GRX 600. The crank is Cannondale stiff and light aluminium 46 by 30 crank paired with a Shimano 105 11 to 34 rear cog, which is a nice versatile setup when going from on-road to off-road. When it comes to the brakes, you get the 160 millimeter RT64 disc rotors paired with GRX 400 brake calipers, which is not bad straight out of the box and will provide decent braking performance. However, in terms of the disc brake rotors, there is a lot of room for an upgrade at some point in time. Otherwise, you are getting the Cannondale 3 aluminum seat post, handlebar and stem paired with a Physic Delta saddle. Nothing special here, however, it is a bit unfortunate that Cannondale did not include a carbon seat post. Having a look at the wheels and tire clearance, the Topstone Carbon 5 comes with a WTB ST tubeless ready wheel set paired with 37mm wide WTB Riddler gravel tires, which is not a bad setup at all. In terms of tire clearance, you can fit a 40 millimeter wide 700 C tire or even a 48 millimeter wide tire on 650 wheels, which is not industry leading when you see other gravel bikes being able to fit 45 up to 50 millimeter wide tires in 700 C. Topstone Carbon 5 in size M comes in at 9.69 kilograms, which is a very good weight and can be taken down with a few upgrades, such as replacing the seat post with a carbon post. Price-wise, the Topstone Carbon 5 retails at 2,999 euros. Overall, the Cannondale Topstone Carbon 5 is a decent bike. The kingpin suspension is a great feature that takes gravel biking to another level. It is a very versatile and well-rounded bike in terms of geometry, gearing, and mounting points. So if you are someone who is looking for a well-all-rounded bike that can take on gravel, tarmac, but at the same time doesn't slack in terms of speed-orientated riding, then you'll definitely enjoy the Cannondale Topstone Carbon 5. If you're also someone who is looking to try a bit of backpacking, then you'll also really enjoy it. Price-wise, I personally don't think it's the strongest bike out there and you will probably want to make upgrades at some point in time. However, at the end of the day, you really can't go wrong with the quality of Cannondale's carbon frames. And there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions or any comments, please feel free to leave them down below. If you are looking for your next dream bike, please visit us on bicycle.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.